Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to the course on JavaScript. If you are new to this channel, welcome on board. If you are an existing subscriber, you might be asking a whole lot of questions. Questions like, hey Hitesh, you already got a JavaScript series on this channel, so what's new about this? What we're going to learn in this new series? What projects we'll be making? Is it going to be a longer series, smaller series? I know, a lot of questions are there and I'm going to try to answer a whole lot of them. So first and foremost, let's get started with that. And my number one advice would be have patience. I know the question is like, hey, first and foremost, why are we having this new series? Now, over the time, everything gets a brilliant update and JavaScript is no exception. There are so many things new in JavaScript, right from the loops to variables, the way how you architecture your application. It has a lot of updates over the year. And my last series came out almost like two, two and a half year ago. And in that meantime, a lot updated in JavaScript, but also a lot updated in me as well. Now the delivery is much more better. I'm able to architecture a course much more better. So I like to update my courses over the time if I get some free time. And this is 2020, I got a whole lot of time. So I'm gonna update that. Regarding to all of your questions, eventually they are gonna be answered in the series, but I just want to say have patience regarding all the other questions like when this topic will become, when why topic will become, are you gonna cover this, are you gonna cover that? Can you show us the project? Have patience. If you don't have patience, you can come after a few months when this entire series is over and then you will have all the answers. So that's all what, you, what I want to say and get started with the series. For all the other people, this is going to start from absolute basics and absolute scratch. We're going to have so much of fun in this series. You're going to love it like to the heart. Absolutely. I can promise you on that one. So let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, uh, I've already answered this one here that why we are having a new JS course. And uh, one thing only I can promise with this course is you're going to love the JavaScript and I'm going to change the entire perspective. And yes, you can say JavaScript is a very sneaky language. It does a whole lot of mischief things, but you're going to understand why is it doing all of that. And you're going to love it to the core of its heart. But first and foremost, what is JavaScript? We need to at least address this one for all the people who are watching it for the first time or even learning their first programming language. So let's go ahead and talk about what is JavaScript. To the very core, it just is a programming language. That's all you need to understand. Yes, it would be really difficult to adjust this knowledge for a lot of people that when I compare and say that JavaScript is just a language like C++ and a lot of C++ fanboys are going to say, how dare you to compare it with C++. But to be honest, this is exactly this is and uh, you're going to see in the next video that how we can compare it with any other programming language and it's exactly same and how it the working is exactly same. Over the years, it has evolved a lot. So, and of course, one more thing, I would like to bring my uh, previous example back here, the JavaScript has nothing to do with Java, just like car and carpet has nothing to do with each other, many similar rhyming words. Java and JavaScript are totally different languages, totally different applications. Surely the naming is pretty a horrific decision, but apart from that, there is nothing common in between them. So it's a standalone language. There is no dependency on this language. It's not like, hey, first you have to learn C programming language and then only you'll be able to learn it. It has its own variable, it has its own loop, so everything is there. That means you can learn that language directly getting started. And uh, last but not the least, where you're going to use JavaScript? In the current modern world, JavaScript is very, very dominating. It's being used and thrown up in almost every single application that you're going to design, whether it's on mobile, on front-end client, on the back-end, in the machine learning, and a whole bunch of other regions. Once you are absolutely comfortable with JavaScript, you are going to be uh, totally ready to jump into the other world of JavaScript and as well as web application. Things like React Native, Ionic, AngularJS, ReactJS, Node.js, TypeScript, a whole bunch of world actually opens up to you. So this is a bare minimum basic knowledge that you should have. And we're going to discuss a whole lot about how JavaScript is so much fun to learn and all of that. So I hope you are all excited and I will not do again and again all these things which uh, I do usually in every single video. You know the drill of YouTube, do that, do that. You're going to do that already, so I'm pretty sure of it. Let's go ahead and catch up in next video.